what you see is what you get, okay? Because God deserves. I don't wear certain clothes to church for people. I am myself for God. I live for myself. I live for God. God is my, my king, okay? It's not people. So I put my faith in God, not people. I'm completely burnt out and done with church people and done investing, you know? There are very few people I allow into my life. Jesus did the same thing. He had his 12 apostles. He had his top three Nick. Then he had, you know, his 12 apostles. I mean, Jesus did it himself, and then he loved everybody around. He loved the world professionally. It's like you love very few personally, and you love everybody professionally. JR is somebody I love deeply. JR, I believe, won't fuck me over. He's tight. He knows I'll kick his ass. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. No, but, but he's my girl's family. Like, this is her uncle. And her other uncle, these guys have my back. They're Filipinos. Like, Filipinos are loyal. And I know blood is thicker than water, but I love their their niece very much I, I'm in love with her I romance her I take care of her and they see that these guys have my back and I know that butch and buddy you saw buddy on the boat trip hustling boatman that was buddy this buddy he finally came out with me I'm so excited I believe buddy has my back I don't think buddy wants to hurt me at all I trust buddy you know but do I really trust anybody a hundred percent I trust my mom and dad a hundred percent to be the best parents they can be but I don't trust them to not make mistakes because we all make mistakes. My parents are amazing people and they're great examples of how you should be. They're very pure. They haven't been through the stuff I've been through. You're a product of your history and you're a product of your environment. I choose not to have church people around. I don't go to church because I've been burnt too much. It's not worth it for me. I have my own church. I have Bible studies with my, my uncles here in the Philippines. I get Bible scripture from a guy named Sam Ingalls. This guy is a dear friend of mine. I love him very much. He's been a friend of mine for years. He approached me years ago and offered me, he has a plane, we were gonna fly around. He let me fly his plane a little bit. It was fun. And then the guy was just always consistently a good guy. My family loved, you know? But the thing I've learned in life, when I was on tour, these little micro tours in California, playing in clubs every night, I let too many people in close into my life and I got burned. You can't do that. I let relationships manage me. I did not manage my relationships. And in turn, I got burnt out and I got exhausted. And then I stopped playing music and I went into hiding. Not in hiding, I'm, I wasn't running from the mafia. Bravo! Tough guy! You and your, Ooh, your fucking brother! I just kind of backed away and got reclusive. And then I was just like producing music in the studio and not performing anywhere. And then music business is such a pain in the ass. And I had so many deals with like Rhino Records I was gonna sign and do these tours with like Scarlett Johansson. And then I don't know what happened to her. I don't think anything happened to her music, but the guy, the president, Mark Salata of Rhino Records just disappeared right when I was about to make a deal with Rhino Records. Music business is such a pain in the ass because it's very expensive too. When you produce your music and you have to have all these professional musicians in there, you gotta have studio time and all that. And then, you know, it just expensive. Expensive. You gotta pay for everything. I mean, making my first album on, on iTunes, that was like $20,000 in production, you know, out of my own money. After my divorce, because my wife was not encouraging at all. She was a bitch. She was crazy. She hated her dad, but she was just like him. He would shoot their animals right in front of her when she was a little girl. And she'd be like, I hate my fucking dad. She was just like him, you know? You're a product of your environment and your history. And after my divorce, I was so sad because I was married. Like, I, I am committed for life. That was my wife. I would have never left her no matter what she did to me because I committed myself to her before God forever. But she took off. I can't make her choices for her. That broke me up inside. I mean, I didn't do anything to deserve that. And she was making me out to look like Hitler. I mean, seriously. After my divorce, like six months later, I called my friend up and said, hey, I wanna move. I wanna move to like a third world country that's beautiful, tropical, and I just wanna make films, put them on YouTube. It's like, where do you think I should go? His name's Dominic. He's been all over the world. And he goes, the Philippines, I'm here now. Truth be told, the guy turned his phone we were FaceTiming and this girl looked his ear. I was like, yeah, I'm coming. He actually bought me my plane ticket. And I came here to visit for two weeks. I went to the slums. I had dinner with locals. I lived large. I went clubbing. I got bottle service. I did everything. I did it all. And I fell in love with it here. And there are dysfunctional and fucked up people everywhere you go. There are angry people. There are racist people. It doesn't matter where you go. Black, which by the way, there are no such thing as black people. We're all just different shades of brown. 
down. You gotta get over this racist shit and this feminism. Like, you guys are all idiots. Black Lives Matter, you guys are so pathetic. Stop the anger and the hatred. Fuck. I mean, smoke a joint and get along. Like, there's no point in this. There are no such thing as black people. It doesn't matter where you go. There are always gonna be people that hate you, that don't like you. I'll get a lot of likes on this video, and I'll get some people that say you're a fucking idiot. I don't care. If nine people say you're amazing, that's great. And if one person says you're a fucking moron, I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. If I have nine people say I suck, and one person say you're good, which would probably be my mom, then you have to reevaluate what you're doing. There's always gonna be haters. There's always gonna be racist people. There's always gonna be a guy that's degrading women. And there's always gonna be women degrading men. You can't focus on that. Quit fighting because it's always gonna be happening and you're bitching about it isn't gonna make a difference. Just love each other, that's it. Is it really that hard? Just love each other. So what, stop being racist. Black people, Black Lives Matter, stop it. You guys don't matter or hold any more value than other people. Love each other. Don't look at yourself as black people, you're not black. You are dark brown. I am light brown, okay? Filipino, this guy's like perfect brown. Fucking Filipinos and their fucking permatans, man. My girl's got the perfect tan all the time and she never lays in the sun. Mm. Filipinos have like the perfect tan color for my tastes. Now I'm gonna say something that's gonna sound offensive to you and if it offends you, you need to reevaluate where your head's at and understand context. Context is everything. You ready for this? If you're offended, you need to reevaluate what you think and how where your head's at. I am not attracted to black women. Oh my god, the guy's racist. No, I'm not. I always liked blondes in California. I like blondes with flat tummies and long legs. You know? I love good black people. I don't like black people causing trouble. I love some white people. I don't like white people that are racist and rude. You understand? I don't like rude people, I don't like thieves, liars, cheaters, I don't like those people. And those people exist in every color, every religion, every relationship with God, everything. There are so many people involved, you can't worry about the haters. You gotta focus on the people who love you. And if people love you and come at you with criticism, you have to listen with open ears and say, what am I doing in my life? What can I be doing better? Because we all have areas of growth we need to work on. And you have to understand that. I am not racist, but I hate rude people. I hate people who attack others. I hate people. I mean, hate's a strong word, but I really, really hate when people scam innocent people who are too good natured to do anything about it. You have to understand that just because I don't like black women as an attraction doesn't make me racist. It just means it's not my style of women that I'm attracted to sexually. There's nothing wrong with that. My girl I'm with, she's in the middle between white or light brown and dark brown. She's got that perfect tan from me. I like that. That's my style as of now and I want to be with this girl the rest of my life. So my eyes are focused on her. I don't look at other women or I try not to. Therefore, she'll always be the most beautiful woman in the world because she's the only woman I'm looking at. See, that's a little trick you gotta do. Pornography is evil. It's wrong. You don't look at porn. It'll distract you from your prize in the future or the prize that God gave you now. If you don't believe in God, then this whole message is irrelevant. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for all your comments and your likes. I really, really appreciate way more than you can ever imagine. I really appreciate the support that you guys have given me. All these subscribers coming in. I can't thank you guys enough. Once again, my name is Moorfield. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate your support. Please spread the word and and help me get to 10,000 subscribers, 100,000, a million. I really want to make a difference in the world with the way I believe things and the, the way I live my life and the way I love people. I want to make a dent in the world. You look like you need to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Much love. Peace out.